Welcome back to Newslink. Let's bring you the story now. The Limpopo Health Department has been rocked by corruption allegations. The Kontilibebe Foundation says millions have been lost in bogus coal tenders. It says the fuel is being bought for hospitals that don't even have coal boilers. The foundation has reported the matter to law enforcement agencies and the president. So let's get some clarity from the department spokesperson, Neil Shugambani, joins me right now uh, to take this conversation forward. Thank you so much for your time, Neil, and good morning to you. Uh, this is quite a serious allegation here, a multi-million rand coal supply tender. How many hospitals so far, according to your understanding, are involved? Okay. Thank you, Tumelo, and good, uh, good morning to the viewers. I think what we need to firstly clarify is the assertion that there are millions of rands which have been lost uh, uh, on this uh, tender. Uh, what I need to put up front is that there is no single cent that has been spent uh, on this issue. Uh, but what we need to indicate, maybe in terms of timelines, is that uh, uh, the department had actually issued uh, letters to bidders uh, indicating that they have indeed uh, won the bid to supply coal to our hospital, which utilizes boil uh, boilers. Um, a, 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 a whistleblower then later on uh, contacted the MEC and said one of the hospitals that they've been allocated for does not necessarily have the boiler facilities or their boiler facilities are not working. So we then, uh, uh, the MEC and then um, instructed the HOD to immediately investigate that issue. And on the preliminary, we did indeed uh, find that uh, out of the, the two companies that have been already issued with the uh, letters, 12 um, were actually not having, the 12 hospitals were not actually having the, the boilers. So the, the service providers were then recalled and the reallocation was, was done because by that time they had not even signed contract with the department. They just only had letters to say you have won their contract to supply coal at this particular facility. Mm. Uh, maybe clarify this to us. Uh, a report regarding a letter then written by the chief director in the department um, under which you serve to a senior finance official, seemingly confirming this multi-million rand contract was issued to supply coal to 14 hospitals. Uh, is, is, is this uh, report, uh, you know, misleading? Look, uh, the issue of multi-million rands could just be an issue that this tender is indeed a multi-million rent because you supply it's a tender to supply coal in facilities for a period of three years but also what we need to understand is that the letter that we are referring to mm. where was actually part of the preliminary investigation that was linked to the likes of Cotillimepe Foundation which we do not know by now as to by who so um, the, it's, a, it's a tender that uh, involves a lot of money of course but like I've already indicated uh, the service providers had not yet signed contract with the department um, so not even a single ton or a single load of coal was delivered into the hospital by the way the coal do not get delivered on a regular basis they are delivered only a on need basis for instance a hospital will just call a service provider and say we've run out of coal we need coal to do one two three and then the service provider will go and deliver then there will be the process of invoicing which by the way um, also involves quite a number of uh, uh, lines of reporting in the process. So um, there is no single rent that was uh, actually spent on the tender when the whistleblower actually alerted the MEC of the issue and investigation immediately and sort of which we're waiting for the exact um, uh, findings of that particular investigation to say exactly how did it happen. Because there are a number of scenarios that we can play around but we don't want to. For instance, um, uh, could it be that probably the previous specification for the previous tender were actually cut and paste, or it could be that uh, um, when the tender was uh, advertised, in some institutions the boilers were there, but during the time of appointment, uh, maybe they were no longer working. So we don't want to speculate, and so we say we want to investigate so that we thoroughly get into the bottom of issue. But the assurance that we need to bring to the public and also to yourselves, to men, is yeah. that uh, we, we, are, we are open, no cent has been spent, no invoice has been uh, generated uh, to, the, to, to, to this period. By the way, even in the new reallocation, the process of signing a new contract with the service provider is not yet mm -hmm. concluded.
All right. Is that why then, Neil, the chief director in the letter again has asked for one of the leads on the project uh, to provide reasons, uh, rather a report with reasons as to why those facilities which don't use coal were included in bid specification? Well, um, precisely. Uh, but just like I've already indicated mm. that uh, the letters that you're actually referring to um, are part of the internal process of looking into the issue, um, which unfortunately got leaked into the public. Uh, so um, the, the, that was part of the preliminary um, process of actually looking into that particular issue. As there were people who need to be asked in terms of the process, because you would understand that uh, the supply chain process does uh, affect the number of directors in the institution. There will be the uh, recipient, the, rather the initiator of the bid who would say, this is what I need. And then there will be specification committee there will be big committees and a number of people involved uh, up until to such time where you get to a point service provider. So hence you need to check with that um, chain in terms of the process as to where exactly did this thing come from, um, the issue of uh, um, um, a number of uh, hospitals that found themselves into the bid, whereas they don't actually utilize the service that was required by the bid. Right. One of the, or at least the, the, the foundation that raised the alarm on possible wrongdoing within the department, the Contilibepe Foundation, have you engaged with them? Because um, obviously I can imagine you have received their complaint. They say they went to the extent of approaching the MEC of Health. That's Dr. Popira Matuba. But have you engaged with the foundation regarding these allegations? Um, another thing that we need to clarify is that the Contilibipi Foundations are not whistleblowers. Contilibipi Foundation got hold of the linked document of a process of investigation that was underway. I think we need to be clear on that space. When Contilibipi came into the fray, mm -hmm. the investigation, the whistleblower already uh, alerted the MEC and the preliminary investigation were already under our hands. The letters that we are seeing, the HOD writing to the CFO, the CFO writing to the DDGs, the chief director, as part of preliminary investigation. Um, however, we are in, engaging everybody uh, on the issue so that, uh, uh, because we understand that also represent a particular constituency that could be part of our stakeholders. We have also, by the way, on our own part, uh, uh, sought the Council of uh, uh, Law Enforcement Agencies in terms of how to um, deal with this issue because we want to get to the bottom of it so that if there's anybody who is responsible for what has happened, they need to bear full responsibility, uh, including um, taking it up with issues of discipline and also uh, law enforcement. Because if indeed uh, that was done um, mm. like that and was deliberate um, or it's found that there were elements of fraud, I'm just giving an example, uh, then we would have to uh, uh, contact the police so that they do their work um, uh, to that uh, particular level. All right, Neil. Well, thank you so much for speaking to me, placing it on record, this clarity uh, with regards to these uh, allegations rocking the Department of Health. Neil Shikwambani of the Limpopo Health Department, thank you so much for your time this morning.